Hail, Pandawans and journeymen walking that illustrated path. Wanted to show you a sort of a quick little walkthrough of what I do when I have some pencil artwork that I'm kind of done with. And I just want to put it into Photoshop and give it a little quick touch up, you know. So this is, again, just a photo from my sketchbook. And what I did is I'll pop up the sort of contrast on it. Maybe it's a little hard to see, but I'm, I just brightened it just a touch, right? And all I did was go into, well, let me show you what I did. Why don't you tell me the movie you want to see? A little Seinfeld reference for all you old farts. So I went into uh, what's called levels. And what this lets you do is there's these three little triangles here. Uh, the dark, the middle, and the light. Well, of course, the dark just makes things darker. The light will make things lighter. And then the middle sort of adjusts. Adjust <laughs> The middle sort of a justice is the uh, sort of tones, and the values in the middle. So if I want, I could really pump it up and, you know, blow that out. Or if I really want to, you know, make it dark and, and brutals, I can do that. Um, but what I did was I just made it, man, I'm speaking like a goofball. I made it, it just slightly brighter. All right. So now I'll show you what I did next. So what I want to do now is I took the same image, this uh, contrasted one, and I made it darker. And I did that the same way that I did with making it brighter. And if you like, I can show you that as well. So let's go back to that layer. And then we go back to levels. And then all I did was, uh, the, see this white triangle here? I didn't touch that apparently. I touched this white triangle. <laughs> And I brought that down. So the whole thing turns into the gray sort of, uh, you know, muted mintone stuff like that, right? So that, that's what this is right here. And then what I like to do is taking my eraser, similar to what I do with just normal pencil and paper artwork, is I'll go through and I'll just start erasing the wrong layer. No, I'll go start erasing this area and I'm going to put like, so say if like the highlights are kind of coming from here or the light source, I'll start erasing there. And, you know, so it's hitting kind of the nose, hitting sort of his, you know, protruding points like the cheekbones and his little bulldog snarl flaps there. I think that's the technical term, you know, maybe the inside of the, the tusks. And as you can see, it's already looking kind of cool, right? You know, get his lips there. Um, and all I did was, that's just one layer, you know, let's see if I can turn, yeah, see, so that's seen through to the, the background of Photoshop. I'm erasing, and then it's just showing through to this base, base layer, right? So, yeah, so I tone everything down. And then that's sort of what I end up with. This is, this is the one that uh, I had already worked on a little bit for the walkthrough. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just erasing. And it's going straight through to the standard pencil artwork below. And then I brought, I, I copied the layer and just sort of dulled it down a bit again. I don't want to, I don't want to have too much contrast right now in this stage because I'm going to be doing that later on. Um, I find that when I get too much contrast right now, like if I make areas like really bright, it just, when I'm trying to go through on the, the top layers, I'm always going back fighting that this is too bright. I'd rather work a little bit dark right now, and then I can uh, always brighten it up later as I go. So I sort of muted that one. Uh, yeah, see, I sort of just muted that down. And then I went over with what's called a multiply layer. So see how incredibly dark that got? Well, a multiply layer, let me go through again and I'll show you. Multiply basically just takes everything uh, and, and sort of makes it like darker. It's like a shadow layer. Um, a shadow layer. That sounds like some place that He-Man would go. So I, I'm on a multiply layer right now, right above it. So it's making everything underneath dark. And you can still go through like I did with the earlier steps, just going through and you could be erasing and really bringing out, you know, areas that you want to see more of. Um, but what instead, what I did is I went darker. So as you can see between the two, I mostly just darkened up areas on the forehead where his cool ass pompadour would be uh, under his neck. I gave it like a kind of a nice dramatic lighting. Now, now this is a little bit too dark, but I, I correct that as I go. But see, I can I can lower the value of this multiply layer. I forgot my still my hand's still in there. <laughs> 
Um, and then what I'll do is this this literally takes about, you know, a minute or two per per uh, layer. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll go in with what I call the highlight layer. And this is usually on overlay. Now, let me show you what overlay does. I might have shown this a time or two before, but this might be someone's first video here. So I want to show them. So overlay, if I pick a bright color, it's going to kind of magnify everything underneath. See how it's kind of brightening everything up, right? And if I pick a dark color, it sort of darkens everything underneath, you know, where you could get some really cool, like, that looks great right there. <laughs> some really cool dark tones. And now, so I'm trying to keep this like very just loose. This isn't too polished or anything like that. So I basically, you know, have three or four or five layers, which are usually more than, I'll, I'll usually crunch everything down um, by this time. But I want to kind of show you guys the, the, the process and be able to go back and forth. What I'll do next is I'll make a layer and I just call it a spot layer. And this allows me to kind of go through and as you can see on the little tusks here, uh, the little metal thing, I'm just going through and adding kind of like these little like highlights. You can do it on the eyes, on the, under the eye gibble there. Um, you can add a little bit more highlights to his furrowed brow, like a little you know, little shinies on his nose, things like that, little hot spots on his, his bulldog snarls and things like that. So that's what I did here. And I'll, we'll go through, actually I'll keep it zoomed in and you can kind of see what I did. So on his cool coif pompadour, I basically just sort of outlined it and gave it some white, uh, white little highlights. See, I'm just doing that still here. That's all, that's all I did. And it's on a separate layer, so I can always go like, ah, I don't like what I just did and I can erase that. Um, but that's, that's the added sort of touch there. And so for a starting off as a non like finished pencil drawing, let's go back to that real quick. And I won't remember any of those. So you'll have fun watching me struggle to put it back together. Uh, that was, that was the base one, right? And then I went through and these are the various stages of, you know, the highlights and the spot. Now that's all I was going to do, right? For pencils, but I figured why not do uh, show you another uh, quick coloring. So let's sign the pencils. Boom, Samwise, right? There we go with my dirty hand in the corner. So now you saw how I did sort of quick pencil tweaks and all that. And I'll show you what I do with quick colors. Now this layer right here, color, boom, this is all one, one layer. Let me turn everything off underneath and you can still see that color right on the original. And I'll show you guys what I did. Um, so this is also on an overlay layer. Again, if it's a dark color, it th makes things dark. If it's a bright color, it makes things bright. If it's sort of a, a similar in tone, it just makes things the color. So let me put this on normal. That's all the coloring I did right there. It took all of like, you know, 20 seconds. That's just me taking the airbrush and I'll show you. So let's put it back on overlay and let's pick like a nice, uh, something that we'll be able to see. So nice neon, Neon Gatorade urine color yellow, and I'll show you what uh, overlay does. That's the eraser. Now you know what that does. <laughs> but see, like that's just turning everything underneath to that crazy, ugly yellow color. Now, let me do it with a color that's maybe a little bit more in line with our picture. So I got like a kind of an, a nice olive green. Ugh, ugh, ugh. So as you can see, it's sort of brightening up. Let me go through a little bolder. So there you go, you can see. But if I really want, I can really bring up the greens in old, uh, old, old Orky's face here. Uh, but that's all I did with one color layer, right? And then I went through with this next layer and I just sort of dropped in, this is with overlay. And as you can see, I took some yellows and I'll show you again, took some yellows just to bring in some of that kind of warmth, right? So that's what it looks like with bright, with, you know, smashing that yellow down. And this is where it looks, where I just putting in some, you know, softer sort of uh, airbrushing technique on there, right? That's what it looks like if you, that looks nice actually, um, but we'll save that for later. Yeah, so there's a, that's what that looks like. And then the next one is sort of the spot layer like I did before. I'm just going over with the plain flat colors and just highlighting a little bit of the, uh, the areas I want to pop. Now this isn't anything realistic. It just, this is the style I like to do. And so this is 
there we go, this is the image all flattened out. So it's just one layer now. And now if you see, no, you're not, uh, you're not having a stroke. You're not having any of that. I blurred the whole layer, right? And what this does is, you know, it blurs it. But if, you're, you know, if you've seen in some photos and stuff like that, you can blur the area and then just erase, like I did, some of the focus area. And I'll show you here on the, the tusks. So let's get in here and see how I'm erasing it and they're becoming sharper. That's because I was drawing over the blurred layer. So this sort of gives a little bit of a, you know, I always call the stuff like Photoshop cheatery, uh, but it lets the focus be really, you know, right into this part of the image here. Excuse me, had to do a little, uh, little cough there. So it's not really much of a difference, but you can, you can see up here. You can see where it kind of blurs out his little ponytail and ears instead of it just being one, everything, you know, super crisp and sharp. Um, so that's probably a not needed thing, but I, I do like the way it looks, makes some of the things look and adds a little bit extra layer of realism. Right. All right. So and this is what I so I flatten the whole image again. And then what I did is let me. Uh, flatten this here. Boom. Now, what I did with this next layer, as you can see, the colors are changing. I added a little bit more blue into the shadows and things like that. And a little bit more, I don't know, purplish to that red. So it's not really orange and green anymore. Now it's got a little bit of like magenta and purple. I just thought that was a pretty color, color scheme. And I'll show you how I did that. So let's see, go into adjustments. And we go to color balance. Now color balance, it's got all these crazy, you know, cyan, magenta, yellow, R, G, B. Yeah, you know me. Uh, but what you can do is currently it's set to midtones. So if I want like sort of the middle colors to be a bit more blue, I can do that. So I'm going to go to extreme so you can, not the band, but <laughs> so that looks like some kind of cool shadow orc, fell orc. But the goal here is not to make it too radically different, but to just give it a little bit of a different vibe. So what I did with the other one was, I think maybe with the shadows, I added a little bit more of the, the cyan. Ooh, that got all messed up. Um, but you don't wanna go too far, right? So by adjusting that, this was the color scheme I came up with. And they're largely the same. I, I ultimately like this one better, I think, just cause that's the color scheme I normally go to, reds and greens, I am a Christmas boy at heart. <laughs> um, but this one I like too, cause it felt a little different. And so all I did there was add the signature again. So that's where we end off with this quick little tutorial here for y'all. Uh, it, it's not supposed to take away the, the value of finishing pencil sketches or, you know, pencil renderings, but it's just something to do where, like I was making these, you know, these pictures, I was out of town and I was just having fun, but I didn't have time to you know, spend to, to polish them. And I have real work to do when I get back, you know? So I went and uh, just did a quick little touch up and it allows me to make a little video for all y'all out there who want to uh, see the, the Photoshop cheatery that I do. Uh, and also just some really quick things that you can do to take a, you know, sort of standard uh, picture and just give it a, a little touch up. All right, Panda Wands, well, that is it. I hope that you are practicing and, you know, preaching and uh, living the ABC lifestyle. And what is that? ABC, always be creating. Cheers and beers, everyone. I will talk to you soon.